Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about flags. Okay, so a flag is a Boolean variable that signals to our program when a certain condition has been reached or when a certain condition exists in our program. All right, so assuming we wanted to create a program that allows the user to, let's say, enter a score, a score from a test, a test that was taken, for example. And so we're going to display to the user that, okay, you passed. If the user score is greater than or equal to, let's say, a pass mark that we set, right? So we can set a pass mark to, let's say, the value 80. And so if the user's value or the, if the user score is greater than or equal to 80, which is the pass mark, then let's display a message to the user and say that, okay, congratulations, you've passed, right? So we need a way to kind of signal to a pr our program when the user has passed, right? So <laughs> I, I kind of said that fast, so that's, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and create a Boolean variable. Let's kind of demonstrate this so that you can see um, how flags work, right? So it's basically a Boolean variable. I'm going to go ahead and create a Boolean variable, and I'm going to call it passed. And we know Boolean variables can either store the values true or false. I'm going to set it initially to false, right? And the only time we're going to set this past Boolean variable to true is when the user's value or when the user's score is greater than or equal to the pass mark. Now I mentioned the pass mark. If I'm if you're talking about pass marks, we can create we can store that pass mark in the variable, right? But then a, a good way or the, a very neat way to, to store your values like that, pass marks or values like that, values that you don't want to change when your program is running, is by using final uh, finals, right? Or constant. So I'm going to go ahead and declare a final double, right? It's going to be a, it's a double because if it's a pass mark, it can be something like 95.5 or 66.8, something like that. So I'm going to create a final double, and then I'm going to set uh, its name to pass mark. Now we know by convention when you're naming your your final values or your final um, yeah your final values, you by by convention when you're naming them you separates them with underscores if it's more than one word and then you capitalize all of it okay so you capitalize pass and mark and you separate them with underscores if it's more than one word let's set the pass mark to let's say 80 right so that's going to be the pass mark it this value won't change when the program is running and then we will need the user score now ideally ideally we will have to use something like the scanner or the geoption pane to accept the user's inf uh, input but then for this program just because i want to demonstrate how flags work I just let's go ahead and just store this value in a variable. So I'm going to create a double uh, variable. I'm going to call it user score. And then let's set it initially to 85, right? Okay. So we can create an if statement and then we can set this past boolean variable to true only if the user score is greater than or equal to 80. If it's 80 or above then let's set it or let's change the value of this pass va va um, boolean variable to true to true let's set it to true so if the user score is greater than or equal to 80 oh sorry not 85 the pass mark right the pass mark if it's greater than or equal to the pass mark 85 is, is a user score so if the user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark right then we know the user has passed so let's change past the boolean, the boolean variable pass to true right that's the only time we we are going to change pass to true if not pass will always stay false now you may ask yourself why wh why this what's the purpose of doing this once you've set the value of this boolean variable to true then what then what next now later on in your program you can use an if statement to test on the value of the boolean variable passed we can test on it to see what's, what, 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 what value is stored in there. So we can write it this way. We can write it this way. Sorry, my typing is becoming off here. If passed, now you, now you may think, how does this work? Now we know for an if statement to run, run the code or the, you know, the lines of code in the curly braces, what's in the parentheses over here? What's in the Boolean expression? The Boolean expression over here has to result to true. Right. If it's, if it results true, then the lines of code or line of code 
uh, in this in these cal cal Kelly braces are going to run is or are going to run if it's false then we know that nothing in the in the curly braces you get executed or get run so it's going to skip um, this is going to skip the st statements in the if statements and then continue down right so the only time that the code or the lines of code in the curly braces are going to run or is, is going to run is if the boolean expression over here if what's in the parentheses over here results uh, to, to true if it's true now we know this a boolean variable contains the value true or false it will be true only if the user score is greater than the pass mark and it will be false if the user score is not greater than the pass mark right so if the user score is greater than the greater than or equal to the pass mark then set it to true and over here if it's true we don't have to go ahead okay we don't have to go ahead and do something like this if pass is equal to true if what's in pass is equivalent no, now notice i'm using the double equal sign to kind of compare and ask something like is what's on the right equal to what's on the left um, th that's why i'm using a double equal sign now we can go ahead and do something like this and this will work but we don't have to do that because pass itself is a boolean variable and the boolean variables can either contain the values the values true or false and it will contain true if the user score is greater than the pass mark so assuming the user score is greater than the pass mark and the past pa the, the past boolean variable has been set to true so if this whole thing if the boolean expression or if what's in the parentheses here results to true if pass contains the value true then this whole thing will be true right if pass contains the value true over here then this will be true so if true then the only time the if statement will execute the codes in in the curly braces is when what's in the parentheses over here is also true and if pass contains true then this whole thing okay if pass contains true then this if statement will run what's in the curly braces because what's what's in the parentheses over here is true i hope you get me all right so if passed then we want to go ahead and display a message to the user saying something like you passed so system.out.println you passed all right congrats right so a boolean variable is just oh sorry a flag is basically a way to signal to our program that okay a setting condition has has been reached or a setting condition exists now so over here this is this was our way to signal to our program that okay someone has passed a, the user has passed right because we've determined we've checked to see if the user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark and if it's greater than or equal to the pass mark then we set a passed boolean variable to true if not then the value stay stay false Right, and over here we are checking on the pass var value. Value it will either be true or false. With the if statement, if this value is true, then the code this code will run. Or what's what's in the curly braces will run. If it's false, then what's in the curly braces won't run. So let's test this out. Compile this and run, and it says you passed. Congrats. Right. Let's go ahead and change the user score to something like 65, and then compile, and then run, and we see that nothing happens because. It checks over here to say, well, first of all, we know pass is equal to false. It checks over here to say and, and, and asks, is the user score, which is 65, is it greater than or equal to the pass mark, which is 80? 60 is not greater than or equal to 80. So passed is not set to true. It's not set to true. This code, line, this line here doesn't run because what the Boolean expression over here resulted to false. And the only time that the codes in the curly braces ex execute is when the Boolean expression over here results to true. So passed remain false if the user score is not greater than or equal to the pass mark and so we, over here we check the value of pass if it contains false we know this line of code won't run the only time an if statement runs is when the boolean expression over here results to true okay what when whatever you type over here results to true and so if it's false then this won't run and that's why when the user score wasn't greater than the pass greater than or equal to the pass mark this statement over here didn't run because this resulted to false and this statement didn't run and that's why we didn't see anything we know that it skips if, the, if this doesn't run then it skips it it skips it if this the boolean expression was also false it jumps over it jumps it go moves to the end of the if statement a very end and continues what's below it but we know there's nothing below it so that's why we don't see anything here i hope this is clear so a, a flag is just a way to kind of signal to your program that okay a certain condition has been reached right and we'll see more of flags later on um, as we move forward writing programs. Um, so if you have any questions, comments down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video.
Alright then, bye bye.